Hi friends, how are you? I'm Mohammad Leon from Leon Speedy. Welcome to Leon Speedy. In this video, I will show you the all about of page setup or page layout in MS Word 19. Okay, so if you are new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. And without any further ado, let's get started. Here we go. For page setup, go to layout. So first thing is margins. So for my current document, normal is selected for normal top bottom left right is one inch page start from here and margin will be starting from top one inch from left one inch right one inch and also bottom one inch actually okay if you select narrow then it will be 0.5 inch moderate wide mirror then custom margin if you need custom margin just go to custom margin from here you can change top bottom left right accordingly okay here you can see the preview if I select you know top uh, 1.5 inch see uh, this top is changing okay 1.5 maybe bottom 1.5 then left 1.5 right also 1.5 see if I select top bottom left 1.5 then then it will be showing like that after that a important thing that is gutter gutter is actually printing stuff if you want to print your document and you can bind as a book then gutter is important if I increase the gutter, see what is happening here. Gutter position left is selected and that is why from left side page is being reduced by one inch actually. Okay. If you want to print your book in back to back pages, then from here multiple page here you select mirror margins. Okay. So for the first page, gutter will be at the left side. And if you go to back to back page of this page, if you tilt the page, this page will be this side and gutter will be here. Okay. From here, I'm selecting normal. And another thing is if you select gutter top, then from top, the page will be reduced by one inch. Okay. I'm showing you in practice. Gutter is actually if you select your gutter position left and one inch, then after one inch from the left, your page will be starting and this is actually gutter. Okay. So uh, very first time your gutter will be at left then if you tilt your page like that then your gutter position will be right okay and if you uh, if your book is like that you have to uh, tilt in that way okay you have to tilt in vertically then you will select your gutter position top okay so hopefully you have understood what gutter is so hopefully you got a clear view about gutter doing it zero okay then paper here a4 size is selected you can select legal statement executive according to your needs normally a4 is selected so if you select legal statement or executive accordingly this width or height will be changed then layout here actually a section start new page so section will be starting from the new page if you select event page then section will be starting from event page like page number two four six eight like that if you select odd page the page will be starting maybe from one three five seven like that header and footer you can select the header footer size actually here a 0.5 inch is selected if you want to decrease you can decrease from here and also increase from here I'm keeping it 0 0.5 parts okay and apply to now at this moment whole document is selected if you if you don't want to select the whole document then what you have to do you have to select a certain page and from that certain page to the last page of document then this point forward will be selected I'm selecting whole document okay whole document uh, I'm canceling it actually so now at this moment I'll show you orientation there are two sort of orientation one is portrait and another one is landscape my current document is in portrait orientation okay if I select landscape see what changes so it became landscape okay i'm doing it portrait then size actually currently a4 size is selected if you want to select later then see what happened okay this is actually page size tab tabloid then legal then executive but normally a4 is selected or even if you want to need more than this you can select you can select more paper sizes from here where you can uh, change the width and height okay i am keeping it a4 size then column my in my current document one column is selected actually if i select two columns then two columns will be created okay if i select three then three columns will be like that then if i select left then this will be happen at the left side there will be one column and at the right side there will be another column 
if I select right then it will be invert I'm selecting one column from here and okay the next thing is actually breaks it is very important I'm keeping my mouse pointer here okay then actually breaks can have uh, different sort of breaks uh, the first one is page break okay if I select page break from here then after this mouse pointer it will go to the new page I'm showing you breaks then page see it jumped to the next page Control Z I'm undoing okay if I select column column break then what will happen it will go to the next column but since I am doing it in one column it will not go to the next column for that I am doing it uh, two column then I'll show you if now at this moment if I select column break then it will go to the next column it will go here actually I'm showing you break from here column break see it came here so this was the actually all about page break and column break okay I'm doing it one column okay then line numbers here have couple of line numbering options the first one is continuous so if you select continuous see what happened it will be numbering from one up to the last of the document continuously see okay if you select restart each page that means starting from one to the end of the page and at the new page again it will start from one okay i'm showing you restart each page here ends at 30 and at the new page again started with one okay so that's it okay from here i'm selecting none okay then hyphen fm here have two option automatic and manual if you select automatic then it will utilizes the spare space and put a tick mark i'm showing you so i'm selecting automatic from here see v e r s i o n if automatic is not selected then this version will be come down to the next line actually okay after selecting automatic after that a hyphen f has put here then s i o n that means it utilizes the spare space here okay so if i select none then see what happened version came to the next line okay so after that indent indent is actually the space from the margin if i uh, increase the left indent then what will happen from the left position uh, it will take 0 0.5 inch okay if i select uh, right 0 0.5 inch then from the right position it will be shifting to the left okay 0 0.6 inch okay so i am keeping it zero okay then spacing this is actually paragraph spacing so how much uh, first one is before and the second one is after actually in my cases uh, both are zero if you want to increase then you can increase from here then uh, the, you can see the changes okay like that this was all about of page setup or layout in ms word 2019 if you have any query just comment in the comment section hopefully you have enjoyed the video if you do give a huge thumbs up share this content with your community thanks for watching see you in the very next tutorial till then take care